Hey there, YouTube fan. Welcome to class. Welcome to your practice. Let's go and find ourselves here at the center of our sacred space. I just like to take time to thank you for being here, flowing with me for today's practice. Thank yourself for showing up, for being here. Um, if you have been practicing in all of my classes here on YouTube, thank you so much. If this is your first time to do a class with me, let's go. I don't have props with me today, but um, Feel free to put them on the side if you have yours. Um, I won't be able to cue you, but again, if you feel like you need it, go ahead and do it. Let's go and start your practice in your Tadasana here at the center or at the top of your mat. Planting both of your feet here, hip with distance apart, hands onto the sides. Roll the shoulders to the ears as you inhale and then slowly take it down and back as you exhale. A small gesture to open your heart to start your practice grateful and mindful. Begin to close the eyes and softly land in your sacred space, calling upon all of yourselves here in the four corners of your mat, physical, spiritual, mental, self, just you. Find yourself grounding in ease and alignment for today's practice. Take a few moments to notice how you breathe, how you take your inhales and your exhales right now. Slowly finding yourself in full awareness of all the sensations in the body. Notice if there's any tension. Notice if you can ride with the breath too. Slowly take them at ease. And now going towards your mental landscape, notice what something that may be here, something that feels strong or something that is subtle in the mind and the heart that you might need to address or something you just need to acknowledge so that you can be in full honesty as you flow for today. Creating some space for intentions as well. Notice what you wanna do, notice what you wanna focus on as you land your heart, your mind in every move and in every breath that you will be making and taking for today. Soften the face, relax the shoulders, be here for yourself. knowing that you are at the top of your mat, at the top of your practice, mindfully making decisions uh, that will give you the mental headspace that you so rightfully deserve. Take both of your hands over to your heart center, plugging into the heartbeat, the purpose of yourself. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth, open the eyes, let it go. Welcome back to your present moment. Let's start your practice grounding into all of your feet. Take your hands onto the side. Once you're ready, inhale, or Vastasana. Hands will reach up, gaze will follow the thumbs. Exhale, gently fold down with control. Soften the knees, fold all the way down. Halfway lift, the heart opens. Exhale to fold down. Step back to plank. Stay strong here, finding full awareness and waking up your body. Press the ground away with both of your hands, your palms, your finger pads, your knuckle pads. On your exhale, find your first Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Big breath here. Find necessary movements for the body. Bend the knees one by one. Step the feet one by one. Swing the hips side to side. Again, this is your practice, this is your flow. Let it be yours, any movement that supports you. One big inhale here, big exhale. Let's release, heels up, bend the knees, gaze in between the hands or a little bit beyond, step walker, half. Halfway lift, exhale to fall. Roots to rise, hands reach up to sky. Exhale, land it to the heart and then to the side. So as it you wake yourself up or dvastasana, inhale. Exhale to fall down. Lengthen, heart opens you up. Exhale, let's go meet in your downward facing dog. Step, walk, hop, jump, hands down, heads down, up to you. Find your play. Okay. 
once you're there, three cycles of your breath. Again, nourishing your mind, cultivating the warmth. Last two. Last one. Let's start with your spinal waves here. Inhale, heels up, tuck the tailbone, ripple towards your plank. Or towards your plunge, you gaze above the swimming pool. And then slowly bend the knees, come back, downward facing dog. One more round, inhale, heels up, ripple forward. Exhale, take it back. One more, heels up, ripple forward. Find every single muscle active and awake. Exhale, lands you back, downward facing dog. Very nice. Three cycles of your breath here. Let's go and find your flow. Inhale, heels up, ripple forward to your plank. Unveil it well. Once you're here, find your upward facing dog. Heel still up, tuck the toes, open the heart. Gently puff up the chest. Press the heels to the back so that we're not dumping on the low back. Inhale here, maybe look up, open the throat. On your exhale, give yourself back, downward facing dog. Very nice. One more round, heels up. Rip before right Find yourself charged up dog. Bend onto the elbows if you want. Turn out of the hands if this is too much on the wrists. Exhale, come back. Downward facing dog. One more round. Heels up. Rip before right Exhale, charged up dog. Open the heart. Puff up the chest. This time, left leg lifts. Bend the left knee. Heel to the glute. And then slowly tiger curl, left knee to heart. Press with the hands, shoulder blades wide into the sides. Left leg lifts up, three-legged dog. Inhale here. And bend the left knee, hip joint mandala. Maybe gaze at the right side. Say hello to your left tippy toes. Right heel comes up, left knee comes back to your heart with control. Step the left foot in between the hands. Right knee grounds down, untuck the back toes. Whenever you're ready, rise, Anjaniasana. Hands up and overhead. Very nice. You want to firm the inner thighs here. Right hip reaches forward, left hip reaches back. We're not yanking or somehow winging on the flexibility here. We want everything active on the legs. Left heel grounds down, right knee gently grips towards the front. Firm the inner thighs, lower belly activated. If you want some more, hands can come to a prayer or find your peaceful yoga gun. Take your arms to the sky, elevate your shoulders, and then slowly take it back behind the ears. Expose the heart, offer it to your sky. In for four, three, two, and one. Release the hands, bend the elbows to the sides, cactus arms. Take your hands to the ground, Ardha Anumanasana half split. Extending the left leg, option to point or to flex. Right hip reaches forward, left hip reaches back. Option to stay here, lengthening the spine. If you want some more, you can still fold down. Bend onto the elbows, not much weight on the hands. You can really make sure that you're firming the inner thighs. In for three, flex the left foot to the face. Two. And one, slowly release. Rebend onto the left knee, step the left foot, tuck the right foot. Right knee comes up, take your hands up and overhead high lunge. Inhale here, lengthen once more. On your exhale, find your back bend, open the heart, bend the elbows to the sides, palms looking at the sides. Very nice. Gently come back, low lunge, hands are gonna frame the left foot. Slowly swing that left leg up high, breathe in. Ekapada Chaturanga with control. Ordva Mukha. Adho Mukha Spanasana. Doing everything on the opposite side. Heels up, ripple forward, inhale. Exhale, lands you back. Up dog, charge it, good. Lift the right leg, bend the right knee. Heel to the glute. Take it to the heart, tiger curl. Curve the back, release. 
three-legged dog, right leg up high. Bend the right knee, open the hip, hip joint mandala. Maybe look at the left side, find your right tippy toes this side. Lift the left heel, right knee comes back to your heart with control. Step the right foot in between your hands, the left knee grounds down. Untuck the back foot once you're firming the inner thighs, let's rise. Anjane. Very nice. Open the heart. Notice the opening on the front of your left hip. Option to stay here. Take your hands to a prayer. Peaceful yoga gun. Lengthen, elevate the shoulders to the ears. Actually, take it away to the back of the head. Breathing in. You want to make sure that you're activating your lower belly. We're not dumping on the low back. Breathing out. Take three. Two. And one, gently release your hands, bend the elbows, and then slowly release your hands down. Ardhana Manasana, half split. Extend the right leg, point or flex. Left hip reaches forward, right hip reaches back. Option to stay here, this is already good enough. Or slowly fold down. Inhale for four, three, two and one slowly re-bend onto the right knee step the right foot tuck the left foot left knee comes up high lunge hands up and overhead breathing in and breathing out take your back bend bend the elbows to the sides open the heart and then slowly crown back down release the right leg to the sky ekapada chaturanga or Dvamukha, Adho Mukha Shvanasana. Three full breaths, inhale. And exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last two. Last one. On your exhale, heels up, bend the knees, gaze in between the hands. We're going to go and step the feet at the outside towards your malasana. Hips down, elbows against the knees, hands in prayer to your heart. Inhale here. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, take your hands forward, lift, lifting up towards your squat. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Land the hands down, step back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Reset, big inhale, big exhale. Ripple forward, come back, upward facing dog, charge it well, shoot the heels to the back. Left knee bends, heel to the glute. Left knee to heart, tiger curl, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, hip joint mandala. Very nice. Right heel comes up. Slowly come back to your heart. Left knee comes in. Step the left foot in between your hands. Very nice. Right knee grounds down. Untuck the back foot. Rise. Anjanyasana. Inhale here. Exhale. Bend the elbows to the sides. Take your hands down. Left leg extends. Flex the left foot to the face. Fold down. Arda. Option to stay here or find your full Anumanasana, full split. Left leg extends forward, right leg extends to the back. Point or flex, up to you. Find your sweet spot. You can take your hands up and overhead. Inhale, four, three, two, and one. Take your hands down, gently come back. Half split, take your right knee forward, left heel to the back, take your hands grounded down, tuck the right foot. Let's go back, three-legged dog, left leg reaches back. Bend the left knee, hip joint mandala. Slowly step onto the outer edge of your right foot as you swing the left foot, take it to the back. Let's go to your wild thing. Open the heart, open the hip, left hand reaches sky or forward, gaze follows the left thumb. Inhale. Exhale. 
last one. Slowly look down. Coming back, Ekapada Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Reset, big breath here, big breath out. Way forward, come back, upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders down and back, puff up the chest. Right knee bends, heel to the glute. Take it to the heart, tiger curl. Swing it back, three, like a dog. Very nice. Slowly bend the knee, hip joint mandala. Lift the left heel with control. Take it to the heart once more. Step the right foot in between your hands. Left knee grounds down. Untuck the back foot. Rise, Anjane. Inhale here. Exhale, bend the elbows. Slowly ground it back down. Half split. Again, stay here, or if you have your full split on this side, feel free to stay there. Inhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Release your hands, come back up, half split, bend onto the right knee, step the left foot, come back three, legged dog, inhale. Hip joint mandala. Step onto the outer edge of your left foot this time. Right foot steps back. Inhale to rise. Wild thing. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last one. Slowly release. Look down. Ekapada Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three cycles of your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Last two. And one. Heels up. Bend the knees. Gaze in between the hands. Let's go back. Malasana. Elbows against the knees. Knees against the elbows. Hands in prayer to the heart. Activate the glutes so that your knees can really sway to the sides. Take the crown of your head up, lead with your heart open. Stay for three, two, last one. Very nice. Really, take your hands down, finding yourself chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Let's go for your flow. Heels up. Ripple forward to your plank. Come back. Charge up dog. Open the heart. Left knee bends. Left heel to the left glute. Come back. Tiger curl. Breathing in. Three. Legged dog. Breathing out. Bend the left knee. Hip joint mandala. Right heel comes up. Left knee to the heart once more. Step the left foot in between your hands, the right heel grounds down. Rise, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, exhale. Reverse your warrior, right hand to the back, left hand reaches sky or towards the back as well. Gaze at the right thumb. And breathing in, breathing out. Let's go find extended side angle. Elbow to the knee, the quad, or left hand beside the inner left foot. Right hand reaches sky or towards the front. Stay here if you want some more. Let's go find your bind. Right hand to the back or full bind. Left hand underneath your left thigh. Left hand grabs the right wrist, right hand. Strong on the core. Peel that right shoulder. You can gaze up high. Stay three. Two and one. In with the bind, look down, slowly step the right foot a little bit shorter of a stance, extend the left leg, bound triangle pose. Open up the heart, option to gaze down, forward or gaze to the sky. Peel the right shoulder to the back. In for three, two 
and one. Look down, re-bend onto the left knee, step the right foot again to the back, shimmy it nice, release the bind. Right hand steps, parallel to your left foot, left victory fingers on the left big toe. Outer edge of your right heel grounds at the back, left hand, left foot reaches sky, vashes thus in a side plank. Inhale for three, two, and one. Release the left foot, bend the left knee, wild thing. Step back, open the heart, open the hip. Inhale here, and exhale. Last two, release. Step back, Ekapada Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Reset. Inhale deep. Exhale, let it go. Last two. Last one. Let's go for your flow. Ripple forward. Upward facing dog, puff up the chest. You got this right heel, right glute. Take it to the heart, tiger curl. Swing it back, three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, hip joint mandala. Left heel comes up, take it back to your heart. Step the right foot in between your hands, left knee grounds down. Slowly rise, warrior two. Big breath here, big breath out. Reverse your warrior, left hand to the left leg, right hand reaches back. Open the right side body, inhale here. Exhale out. Extended side angle, Pajvakanasana, elbow to the knee or hand beside the inner right foot. Left hand reaches sky or towards the front. Or maybe find your half bind, left hand to the back. Or maybe find your full bind, right hand underneath your right thigh. Finding your left uh, hand, left shoulder peels back and gaze up. In for three, two, and one. Look down, shorten the stance, left foot shimmies forward a little bit. Extend the front leg, bound triangle pose. Gaze down, gaze forward, or gaze up to the sky. Expose the heart well. Find a balance, firm the inner thighs. Take three, two, and one. Look down, re-bend into the right knee once more. Step the left foot to the back. Release the bind. Left hand steps parallel to your right foot. Victory fingers of your right hand meet the right big toe. Outer edge of your left foot grounds down as you lift that right leg coming into your Vashastasana on this side. In for three, two, you got this. Last one. Release the right foot. Bend the knee, step back, wild thing. <laughs> Open the heart, inhale. Last two. Last one. Go down, Ekapada Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Very nice. Inhale for three. Two. Last one. And then release. Heels up, bend the knees, gaze in between your hands. Malasana. Inhale. Exhale. Take four. Three. Finding the warmth that you've cultivated in your heart, in your mind. Last three. Come back to the intentions if your heart is not here anymore. 
it's natural to step away from the journey while you're inside it. But once you found your awareness, that's when you know you're doing yoga. Step back, take a breath, come back here with heart wide open. Once you're ready, let's release. Let's go and find your play. So take your hands down, any inversion that you want, headstand, handstand, whatever you wish. We're gonna meet in your downward facing dog. I'm gonna go and find my crow. If you haven't done this before, maybe you can give it a try today. Place your hands forward, shoulder distance apart, turn out the hands a little as if your index fingers are pointing to the front. Lift the hips, bend the elbows, eyes of the elbows looking forward as you bend the elbows looking back. Take your knees towards your tricep, lean forward. Once you're ready, lift the leg. If you're doing your play, you do you. Meeting you back in your downward facing dog. Stay here for three, two, and one. Last round of the day. Let's go. Heels up, ripple forward. Come back, charged up dog. Open the heart, bend onto the elbows if you want. Open up, maybe gaze up. Bend the left knee, take it to the heart, tiger curl. Release, three like a dog, inhale. Bend the left knee, hip joint mandala. Right heel comes out, step onto the outer edge of your right foot as you land the left foot down to the back. Open up, wild thing, heart up, hips up. Step onto the right big toe, inhale here. And exhale. Look down, let's go find Vashastasana with control. Bend the left knee. Extend it to the sky, up to you, and slowly stay. Last one. With control, step the left foot, parallel to the right foot, a right hand in front. Ground onto the right heel. Open up, reverse your warrior. Inhale. Exhale, come back, warrior two. Breathing in. Breathing out. Let's take your hands to a bind at the back. Inhale, hands reach up high. Exhale, bend the elbows to the sides. Take your hands to a bind at the back. Maybe take both of your palms together or just the fingertips. Roll the shoulders down and back. Open the heart, inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. Gently bowing down. Maybe left shoulder meets the left knee, the left shin. Inhale to stay. Or if you want some more, let's go find Ekapada Kundinyasana too. Release your hands, take it to an airplane. Left hand underneath your left thigh. Option to stay here, take both of your hands, shoulder distance apart towards the ground. Slowly lift the right heel at the back, lift the left heel in front, bend into Chaturanga arms. Left thigh meets your left tricep. Left leg extends to the side as your right leg lifts. Option to extend the left leg as well. Inhale here. Exhale, come back. Step the right foot back. Let's go press up. Three-legged dog. Inhale. Agapada Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Big inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Let's go do everything on the opposite side. Heels up, way forward. Charge it up, dog. Open the heart. Puff up the chest. Right heel bends. Right heel to the glute. Take it to the heart, tiger curl. Three-legged dog. Open up, hip joint mandala. Lift the left heel. Step onto the outer edge of the left foot as your right foot steps back. Open the heart, wild thing. Big breath here, big breath out, slowly release, look down first, slowly let's go lift the right leg, Vashastasana, 
Inhale. Slowly step the right foot parallel to your left hand in front. Very nice. Ground onto the left heel. Open up. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. And exhale. Let's all meet warrior two. Strong like a warrior. Big breath. And exhale. Let's go meet. Let's go find humble warrior. Hands up and overhead. Bend the elbows to the sides like a cactus. Flow fluidly here. Clasp your hands at the back. Maybe just the fingertips or all of your palms. Roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale, expose the heart. Exhale, bow down to the front. Maybe shoulder taps into your right knee. Inhale here. Exhale to stay. Stay here, or if you want to go for some more, release your hands. Let's go find airplane. Hands onto the side, right arm, right hand underneath your right thigh. Stay here, or take your hands to the ground, chaturanga arms, looking forward. Lift the left heel, lift the right heel. Bend onto the elbows, take your thigh towards your right tricep, extend and lift if you have it today. I don't have it here on this side, so I'm going to stay here. Release, come back. Three like a dog. Eka para chaturanga. Ordva mukha. Adho mukha svanasana. Well done. Inhale. Exhale out the mouth. Heels up or wave forward. Bend the knees to a hover towards your tabletop. And then at the same time, knees will ground down, untuck the toes. Sit on your virasana, collect the hands here at the center, close your eyes. Find a moment to nourish the movement that you have made. The sacred space that you have cultivated in today. Finding gratitude for each and every challenge, each and every opportunity that was here on the mat that you chose to honor yourself above anything else. And you are fully aware of how your body is in your journey, in your path at this point. Gratitude for your amazing body for showing up in all honesty, in all truth. Finding gratitude for your strong mind and your open heart. Let's close your practice today. On your inhale, extend all of your hands up to the sky. Exhale, hands in prayer towards the forehead. With you come the kindest thoughts. Hands in prayer towards the mouth. With your kind thoughts come out the kindest words. Hands in prayer towards your heart. Bow down as you're gazing into your own heart. For consistency of practice in everything that you are thinking, in everything that you are doing, and in everything that you are saying. For the kindest deeds. Gratitude for all beings surrounding you for today. Namaste.